Chalukya Kingdom, one of strongest ruling kingdom in Indian subcontinent which ruled from 6th century CE to 8th century CE from Narmada River in southern Gujarat to River Kaveri in southern India. In 300 years rule, they not only fought with Pallavas and other Indian rulers but also they fought with Arabs in Umayyad Caliphate and stopped first Arab invasion in India. Not just this but they have built many Chalukya style rock cut architect which includes famous Padami Cave Temple and many other temples built with golden sandstone in Ayolle Padami and Pattadakallu which we can see even today. But question pops in everyone's mind is how did Chalukyas come to power? Who is the greatest king among all Chalukya emperors who transformed southern India? And who ruled southern India after defeating Chalukyas? For next 4 minutes I am going to tell you historical facts about rise and fall of Chalukya kingdom who transformed southern India into marvelous temple land. Stay tuned and watch full video. Before watching video, if you not yet subscribed our channel, please subscribe and press bell icon for short and simplified videos every day. Let's begin our video from 5th century CE where Gupta Empire collapsed completely where many smaller kingdoms started ruling North India fighting each other. And when it comes to South India, it was ruled by Pallavas, Pandyas and also Kadambas used to rule large territory in 5th century CE. And it was in year 540 CE, Pulakeshi defeated Kadamba king Krishnavarma and captured half of Kadamba kingdom and later it was in year 543 CE, Pulakeshi first established a Chalukya kingdom and becomes first ruling king. He ruled Chalukya kingdom till 566 CE by making Watapi as capital and not to forget he used to perform Ashwamedha which is Vedic ritual of or sacrifice. And it was in year 566 CE, Pulakeshi's son Kirti Varman succeeded throne of Chalukya kingdom where he waged war and defeated Kadambas of Banavasi, Nalas of Bastar, Mauryas of Konkan and extended his empire by capturing parts of Goa, Maharashtra and Karnataka. At the time of Kirti Varman death, his son Pulakeshi II was very young to rule empire and it was his uncle Mangalesha becomes king of Chalukya. And it was in year 610 CE, Pulakeshi II fights battle near Anandpur fort with his uncle Mangalesha where Pulakeshi II not only defeated his uncle but also killed him in battle and becomes new king of Chalukya empire. And later he decides to expand his empire where he waged war on Banavasis of Kadamba, Gangas of Talukadu, Alupas and not to forget he expanded territory from Karnataka till Gujarat. And it was in year 619 CE, Pulakeshi II waged war on Pallava kingdom in which Pulakeshi II defeated Pallava king Mahendra Varman first and captured northern provinces of Pallava kingdom. And it was in year 624 CE, Pulakeshi II made his brother Vishnuvardhana as viceroy and allowed him to rule Vengi empire independently and not to forget Pulakeshi II is greatest Chalukya ruler among all. And it is said that Chalukyas are great maritime power where Pulakeshi II had 100 ships in his army which was used to safeguard navy borders. And it was in 630 CE, King Arshavardhana and Pulakeshi's army fought battle near river bank of Narmada where Pulakeshi II defeated King Arshavardhana and later Arshavardhana signed an agreement of not returning to South India. And in year 642 CE, Pallava King Narsimha Varman waged war against Chalukyas in which Chalukya King Pulakeshi II died in battleground and later Pallavas captured Chalukya's capital Watapi. After death of Pulakeshi II, fortune of Chalukyas declined where his son Vikramaditya first re-established glory of Chalukyas by driving out Pallava forces after 12 years. And it was in year 668 CE, he waged war on Pallava kingdom and defeated Pallava king. And one should remember that Chalukyas built many Chalukya style rock cut architect which include famous Badami cave temple and many other temples built with golden sandstone in Aiwale, Badami and Pattadakallu which we can see even today. And it was in year 733 CE, Vikramaditya II succeeds throne of Chalukya where he ruled large part of southern India including Gujarat. And not to forget it was Chalukya's king Vikramaditya II and commander Pulakeshi defeated Umayyad Caliphate and stopped first Arab invasion in India. Because of series of battles between Chalukyas and Pallavas, Chalukyas economy affected badly where smaller kingdoms under Chalukya started ruling independently. And it was in year 753 CE, Rashtrakuta king Danti Durga defeated last Chalukya king Kirtivarman and dethroned Chalukyas from power and established a Rashtrakuta dynasty. So that's the end of short and simplified video about rise and fall of Chalukya kingdom. If you think this video has knowledge then kindly share this video among your friends and comment your doubts in comment section. And also you can ask your doubts in my social media accounts and link will be given in description. Also don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting and trending videos.